Hello there, my fellow rushers. How are you doing today? King Rex here. And today we're continuing on with Kingdom Rush Hero Reviews. Last time we left off with Chatra, and now we're jumping into another hero that's kind of interesting in a way. But is he the best? Mm, nah, he's not. But we just have to jump over him real quick, so... We're talking about Karkinus. Or Karkinus, whatever. But yeah, this guy is kind of a interesting hero in a way the thing is that he is really strong but he's also kind of disappointing and you'll see why in a minute but before we begin let's check out his stats real quick 500 health now that's not bad amount of health it's pretty decent but it's not like the, the highest in the game medium armor so i believe it's 50 percent maybe maybe it was 40 but i would I'll put it right here, just so you're not confused. And yeah, 34 to 62 damage. Now that's a pretty decent amount. It's physical damage though, so don't think it's anything more special, but it's a pretty high amount of damage. And an average attack rate, so you think that he can shred enemies really quickly, and mm, he kinda does, he kinda doesn't, but we'll see in an actual game in a minute. Now, the reason why he has such a high damage is not because that's his basic stats, no, no, no. He, it's because of one ability, which is this one, Iron Pincer. So yeah, this one is a bit disappointing, if I do say so myself. It's kinda bad, like, come on. You're telling me that he doesn't hit- I don't know, man, I just, I just don't like it. I'm sorry, but that's just the sad reality of it, I just don't, don't like this ability. If you can even call it an ability. It's just a damage boost. I mean, sure, it makes his damage pretty solid, but that could have easily been his basic stats. That could have been his base damage, and this could have been like some sort of unique attack that deals true damage or something like that. But nope, that's not the reality that we live in, so. This ability, to me, it's kinda meh. The next ability actually is really good Battle Hardened. And well, this one is actually decent in a way. Basically, if he falls below 40% of his health, he has 65% chance to become invulnerable for 4 seconds. And that's pretty good, especially if you're trying to stall some really annoying enemies, like, for example, um, Blood Shells or Blue Gales. You know, enemies that are usually pretty problematic to deal with. He can just stall them for a really long time. Now, sure, it's RNG, it's 65%. Even though the chance is in your favor, if you're dealing with some enemies that do like heavy damage, like Brutes for example, if, if he doesn't get the right chance, or if, he has, if the RNG is not in his favor, he may end up dying with a miserable death, so... You gotta keep an eye out for this one. Just because he has this invulnerability chance, that doesn't mean that he's gonna stall an enemy for eternity. He, if he gets a bad RNG, he may end up dying, so... Yeah. But I would say it's a decent ability. To, I really like it. It helped me out quite a bit in my attempt at Sunken Citadel, so I, I like this one. The next one, however, is a bit disappointing. Pincer attack. What I don't like, however, is this. Ah, the pincer attack. It's kind of a disappointment, not gonna lie. Even though the cooldown is only 8 seconds, so he can use it really often, it's a straight line attack. And if you learned anything from Kingdom Hearts Vengeance, you know that straight lines are not good. AKA Goblin Ranks. The reason why Goblin Ranks were so sucky was because they were they attacked in a straight line and it's pretty difficult to catch more than two enemies in straight line i mean yeah it does a decent amount of damage it does 100 tr between 50 and 100 true damage however mm, just because it has such a weird targeting mechanic it, usually you're not gonna get more than two enemies unless you put them in a perfect spot like 
this position is pretty good because most enemies are gonna come in like around this area but the thing is that the hitbox for the pincer is pretty small so you're not gonna get a lot of enemies that's the sad part it's kind of a disappointing ability I'm not gonna lie so yeah let's, let's try it out I mean here two enemies this guy didn't even got scratched uh, I don't know this is kind of a disappointing ability then, yeah, it's, it's disappointing. We're just gonna leave it at that. The next one is kind of alright, I suppose. Shoulder cannon. The shoulder cannon is actually not that bad. I would say it's kind of a decent ability. It, it, it recharges for 10 seconds, so you can use it pretty often, which is nice. And he has a pretty good range with it. However, sometimes it's inaccurate like that, so you can screw yourself over. And yeah, but the damage that it does is not bad at all. It does uh, 70 explosive damage, so it's like an artillery blast, so it's gonna ignore 50% of armor. Which is cool, you know, I like this, I like this idea. And it slows down enemies by 60% for 8 seconds. And 8 seconds is a pretty long slowdown. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see, the range is pretty long. And you can group up enemies a little bit easier like that, which is cool. And yeah, I like this one. Even though it's not amazing, and sometimes it can miss, I still like it. Like, something inside me tells me that this ability is... At least decent. Just a little bit. Uh, this one, however, is. Uh, Burrow. I am made of rage! Want a piece of me? Never treat you. Never surrender. I am God. And now we get to this one, bro. Ah, uh, why? Why though? This could have easily been his passive. That could be his like fast move movement, mobility. Uh, I, I just don't like it, man. Sure, he moves pretty fast now. I mean, look at that. That's a pretty fast mobility. And he can also go to the restricted area on Stormato and so consider that with ease. But ah, uh, just why? Why does this need to be an ability slot? That could have easily been another damage ability or something else. But no, they decided, oh, we're gonna give him some ability. That's just disappointing, man. I don't like this one whatsoever. Even though it gives him the ability to quote unquote teleport, it's not great in my in my eyes. It's pretty bad. If, I, if that was his passive ability and it was this was replaced by something else, I would have liked it. But however, that's not the case, so I kinda hate this one. And yeah, Karkonos is... It, he has the potential to be a really strong hero, but it was just wasted. At least in my eyes, it seems like it, his potential was wasted. So, and because of that, I'm gonna give him only a 7.5 out of 10. He's not a terrible hero. He, he's pretty tanky. He can withstand a good amount of damage. And he can stall for a really long time, but... Mm, I, I just don't like some visibilities. I think the Iron Pincer is unneeded. I think it, this could have been easily his basic damage and it could have been replaced with something else. Same for uh, um, the, pin the pincer attack. If it wasn't in a straight line and it was like a grouped attack, it would have been amazing. But it's not the case, it's a straight line. So depending on the map, you can do a decent amount of damage or you can do a basically nothing. And same goes for Burrow. I, this could have easily been his passive ability and this, th this extra slot could have been used for a potential grouped attack or some sort of utility or support ability. Uh, I don't know, man. There's so many things wrong with Karkanos, and yeah, I just, I just don't like him. Or recommend him? Honestly, no. I don't think he's worth it for for the five bucks. There's mo a lot better options than him. So yeah, I would say don't get him. Maybe, all right, maybe if you like him, go get him. But to me, he is not the best option. He is kind of meh in my eyes, at least. So yeah, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you everybody so much for watching, I appreciate you for sticking around to the end, 
Subscribe if you want to see more of this content in the future. And while you're at it, drop a like on the video. It means a lot to me. And I will see you in the next video. Until it comes, that was King Rexy. Over and out.